Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Moore, and it's time for another SEL lesson. So today, we are going to start with a brain builder called Simon Says. It has two rules. Rule number one is if I say, Simon Says, you do what I tell you to do. Rule two, if I don't say Simon Says, you just keep doing what you're doing until I say Simon Says again. All right, don't forget those rules. Make your attentoscope and let's get ready. Simon says, reach your hands up high. Simon says, put your arms back down. Clap your hands. Oh, hopefully you didn't clap your hands because Simon didn't say. All right, let's start again. Simon says, tap your head. Simon says, stop. Simon says, touch your toes, touch your knees. Hopefully you're still touching your toes because Simon didn't say. All right, one more time. Let's see if I can trick you. Simon says, hold up four fingers. Simon says, hold up three, two. Oh, hopefully you're still holding up three because Simon didn't say. Awesome job, guys. So what skills? did you use to keep yourself from moving when you weren't supposed to? Hopefully you were using your listening skills, your watching attentoscope skills, focusing your attention on me. Awesome job. Now, I think your brain and your body is ready for our lesson. So last time you learned that clues on people's faces or from their bodies can help you understand how others feel it. They can help you get along better with others. So let's listen to the feeling song and watch me as we listen to the song and copy the actions that I and my friend Puppy do. Remember to use your brain when you're listening. So during the song when it says everyone has feelings, you're gonna hug yourself, all right? When it says, we show them on our faces, you're gonna touch your cheeks, show them on our faces. We feel them in our bodies, we're gonna touch our belly, okay? And we tell them with our voices, we're gonna put our hands over our mouth. But you can just watch me and follow along as a me and my friend Puppy dance to the song. All right, let's get this song started. Happy is a small and a twinkle in the eye. Happy is a friend or a homemade apple pie. Everyone has feelings. Show them on our faces. Show them on our faces. We feel them in our body. Feel them in our body. We tell them with the voices. How you feel the way you feel. Sad is a tear and a head hanging down. Sad is Special toy in town. Everyone has feelings. We show them on our faces. We feel them in our bodies. We tell them with our voices. How you feel the way you feel. Anger is a fist and a heart beating fast. Anger's being pushed, falling down and coming last. job with the song guys and now I have another friend coming to visit I bet you can guess who he is mr. oh 
looks a little bit sad. Uh, hi, Snail. You don't seem super happy today. <laughs> Puppy and I were playing a game with a balloon and it popped. Now we can't play anymore and I don't have my balloon either. Aw, Snail. I'm so sorry your balloon popped. Uh, I don't see Puppy anywhere, so maybe Puppy is thinking of a different game that you can play together. Why don't you hang out and sit next to me during our lesson? Class, how do you think Snail is feeling right now? Hmm, if you said sad, I think you're right. We can tell this because he's got his head hanging down, his voice spoke in a sad tone. We could tell he was maybe crying or about to cry. Um, he sounded very sad. His mouth is frowned and he told us about a sad situation that made him upset. So you figured out that Snail was sad from his body and from how he sounded when he told us about his balloon. What people say and how they say it is another clue that can let us know how people he feel. So we now have three things to help us. We have people's faces, we have their bodies and how they are holding themselves, and people's words and how they say them. So today you're going to learn about one more kind of clue to pay attention to. Make sure you have your attentoscope switched on. We are going to look at a picture. All right, this is Julian in the green shirt, okay? And Julian is in science class. They are learning about the sense of touch. The teacher is having students feel a mysterious object in the bag. They have to figure out without looking or saying anything. Julian's turn is next. He can hardly wait. He wonders and wonders what the mystery object might be. He really wants to know. So how do you think Julian feels? Hmm. He's wondering and wondering. Do you know a word that means something that you're wondering and wondering? Maybe you said the word curious. Can you say that word? Curious. Awesome. So yes, he feels curious. Curious is when we are really, really interested in something and we can't figure it out. So put your thumbs up if you have ever felt curious like our friend here, Julian. Yeah, I get curious sometimes. Right now I'm a little curious because I want to know what's in the bag as well. So let's look at Julian's face and body. What clues help you know that Julian feels curious? So look at that picture. What clues help you know he feels curious? Well, he's looking down at the bag and he's leaning forward. So we know he feels curious. Paying attention to how someone's face and body looks and noticing what is happening or the situation can give you clues about how someone is feeling. So my last question is, how, why do you think Julian feels curious? Why would Julian feel curious? Yes, he's curious because he wants to know what the mystery object is. Awesome, guys. All right, I'm gonna introduce you to another photo with another friend on it. All right, so here's another photo, and we actually know this friend. This is Rita in the purple dress in the middle, and she is trying to learn double dutch. She tries and tries and tries over and over and over again, but she keeps getting caught in the rope. Her friends try to help her, but she just shouts, I can't do it. How do you think Rita feels? So I want you to think right now, how does she feel? All right, if you said she probably feels angry, you're right, but there's an even better word for it. It's called frustrated. Can you say that feeling? 
frustrated. Yes, awesome. So frustrated is when we try our best to do something, but we still can't do it. Put your thumbs up if you've ever felt frustrated. I have before when I try new things and I want to do them perfect, but I try and I try and I just can't do it. I feel very frustrated. So I'm sure you have felt the same way before. It's not exactly the same as being angry, but it is an also, also an uncomfortable feeling, one that we don't like. So, if you were one of Rita's two friends in the photo, trying to help her, what clues would help you know Rita is feeling frustrated? So, how could we know that Rita is feeling frustrated? There's three ways. We have her words, how she says them, her face, how her face is looking, what kind of expression is on her face, and also we have her body and the way that she's standing and just looking at the rope, trying to figure out how it works. So why do you think Rita feels frustrated? Yes, she keeps trying and trying, but keeps getting caught in the rope. All right, so now we are going to practice a game about feelings, lots of different feelings, not just curious or frustrated. I am going to read a situation and you will pretend that it's happening to you. Then you will use your face and body to show your partner how the situation would make you feel. You will need to hold your expression without being silly. This is a challenging game. Watch me pretend to have a feeling then guess how I'm feeling. I just spilled milk on myself. Ugh! Oh no! Oh yuck! Gross! How do you think I'm feeling? Hmm, if you use the word disgusted, you are right. I feel disgusted. I think it's gross. I spilled milk all over myself. All right, now I'm gonna read the situation to you and I want to see the expression on your face and you can even use words of how you would react if this happened to you. All right, situation number one. A friend tells you that you are really, really good at soccer. How would you feel? Maybe you gave a face like this. Oh my goodness, thank you, wow. Yes, you're probably feeling happy but you're also feeling proud. You're glad you're good at soccer. You're proud that you um, have worked hard to be good at soccer. All right, number two, you can't find your coat anywhere and it's time to leave school to get on the bus. How do you feel? All right, maybe you did something like this. Oh, my, oh no, oh. You're worried. You're worried you'll miss the bus and you might be getting angry because you can't find it. You would feel worried and angry. All right, situation number three. You hoped there was a cookie in your lunch, but when you open your lunch box, there is no dessert. How would you feel? All right, maybe you're, oh man. I really wanted a cookie. Yes, you're feeling this word, disappointed. Can you say disappointed? Yeah, you feel let down, you're sad about it. All right, last one. You keep trying and trying to do your math problems, but you're stuck. You can't figure it out. How would you feel? Yes, if you said frustrated like Rita, then you're right. You were probably like, Ugh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. That means you're feeling frustrated. <coughs> All right, so we're going to wrap up our lesson. I'm going to show you the empathy poster. This is how we understand how others are feeling. So we look at their face and body and understand how they're feeling. The more ways we know how a person feels, the better we can understand them. 
Bye, guys.